Hi there, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this tutorial about Let the Wizard Guide You as an import option from Microsoft Project. To get started, click on the Connections tab in Milestones Professional. Then choose Create Report from Project. Now we're going to open the MPP file that we want to import. On this screen, you'll see several options. We're going to choose the second option, Let the Wizard Guide You, and then press Next. On this screen, you can choose your symbology type. You can see there's several different options, like Gantt bars current, current and baseline, compact sequential, and so on. But I'd like to talk about the custom symbology. If you choose custom symbology, you'll see the button on the right that says customize, so we're going to click that. On the custom symbology screen, you can see you can choose any date field that you want. So right now, it looks like it's going to bring in the finish date and the baseline start and the baseline finish connected by a bar. For this one, I'm going to add the start date over here and then also add a bar to connect them. So I'm going to click on this one and choose start and then choose a symbol that I want to use and that looks good. And if I wanted to add symbol text, I could do that down here and I'll press OK and then it put a bar there and you can click on that bar and choose whichever bar you'd like to use. So if I want to use that bar, I can press OK and that looks pretty good. So at this point I'll press OK and it's going to use this symbology whenever I finish importing. Now at this point I can press Next and get some more options. Since this is a Gantt chart, you get a lot of Gantt related options. You can show either project summary bars or milestone summary bars. If you bring in the project summary bars, it will take those tasks directly from project. If you bring in milestone summary bars, it will have milestones draw the summary bars for you. And you can also track percent complete over here on the right side. And you can also show the status line and show current date line. I'm going to press next. You can add some columns here if you want to bring in certain columns to your schedule. I'm going to set this to none and set this one to none. So now it's just going to bring in the name field and the percent complete over there on the right. I'm going to press next. You can graph some information if you'd like to. If you have any cost information or anything like that that you want to graph, you can just pick those fields there and kind of set those graphs up as well. I'm going to uncheck this so it's not going to show that graph one and I'm going to press next. On this screen you have an option to add a stoplight column. You can either do one number column that compares a field and project to zero. You can compare two number columns, two date columns, or you can just grab the project status field from your project file. I'm going to uncheck add stoplight column and then press next. On this screen you have the option to enter a title. So I will type project title and press next. You can set the layout of your schedule here and I'll press next. And then finally you can choose your color theme. For this example I will do autumn and then I'm going to press finish. And you can see the import is complete. Thank you for watching this tutorial about Milestones Professional. Visit our website at kidasa.com or email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.